and beat the Spurs with the pass. You're not going to be able to beat them off the dribble. They play great individual defense and team, de team defense, so you got to beat them with the pass. Then Duncan and company, you got to keep them off the glass. You cannot let a team this good get second shots, and you got to have a chance to give yourself a chance to get out and run, you. so you have to rebound on the defensive end. Joey Crawford to toss it in the air and underway in Atlanta. Spurs come in 8-2. They've split their four road games to date. Michael Finley matched against Marvin Williams. Tim Duncan back to Finley. Inside the ring, nails it. Michael Finley. I think all the folks around the NBA are so thrilled for Michael to get that ring last year. The guy who deserves it. I mean, plays his heart out. You never hear anything about Michael Finley. He's just a class citizen. And it was nice to see him get a championship. Last time the Hawks were on this floor, double OT with Seattle as Zaza Pachulia tees one up. And the one thing you like about it, Joe Johnson, just like I said, trying to beat the Hawks with the pass, got a chance, had a wide open look, but he moved the basketball, moved that Spurs defense, and got Zaza Pachulia a wide open jumper. Parker with the penetration. And Tony, <laughs> Bruce, I was out of bounds. <laughs> you can tell good teams, they just looked at each other and said, Bruce, Tony, and they said, ah, oh, just play. Just play. Marvin turns, fires, and leaves it short. Parker looking ahead for Finley. Takes it himself. Saw Josh Smith and circled out. Good idea. When you see Josh Smith that out there and you're trying to go lay it up, he will probably go get it. Tony Parker using that screen effectively from Duncan. 4-2 San Antonio. Still an outstanding defensive ball club. San Antonio allows just 90 points a game. Second best in the league to date. Marvin, good this time. His mid-range game has really improved. It has. I mean, he has a pretty jump shot, and I know he's feeling under the weather. But usually players have a better game when you're feeling a little sick. You concentrate a little bit more. You even slow down a, a bit, and you don't use as much energy. You try to pick your spots. Tim Duncan. Tim Duncan. His scoring is not that robust yet, 17.6, but I don't think you need to worry. No, I don't think he's trying to win scoring titles. Josh Smith. Josh Smith. <laughs> So the Hawks come out hot to match the Spurs. Yeah, at his level, it's one championship. That's all you want now is to win championship. All the individual awards, he has those. He doesn't really want to add any more of them. He just want to keep adding trophies. Beautiful bounce from Parker to Duncan. Tony averaging just under six assists a game. Zaza fouled on the drive by Alberto. Nice play, nice pick and roll. And what do you do when you got a guy that's seven feet, Tim Duncan can step out, and then when he drives it, he's so big. And we saw Josh Smith, a great shot blocker, but Tim Duncan went right at him, just moved the basketball and used his body to score that layup. Meanwhile, Pop and Parker talk it over. Zaza at the line. Tonight's game is in HD and can be seen on the following channels. Dish Network, channel 370. Channel 630-1 on DirecTV. And 876 on Comcast. You're looking for the HD channel in your area? Consult that local guide. You can see spectacular Fox High Definition. 86. San Antonio with the advantage. Only one missed field goal attempt in this game. Parker from the baseline. Duncan there, faking Josh Smith, and slams it in. Six early for Tim. Smart basketball. They're just coasting right now, the Spurs, and I think the Hawks got to look at it. You can't trade baskets with this team because when they decide to lock down, then the pressure starts to build. A timeout called by Atlanta. 8.52 in the first. The Spurs up four. Back at Phillips Arena, San Antonio with the early four-point advantage. Here's what's on tap. Brought to you by Bud Light. We'll hit the road tomorrow, facing the Heat in Miami. Coverage begins at 7.30 on FSN South. No TV Saturday at Minnesota, then back at it at Chicago next Tuesday. The next home game will be against the Milwaukee Bucks a week from Wednesday. That's what's on tap. Brought to you by Bud Light. 
Joe Johnson gets it into Zaza. Joe firing and Ooh. hitting. Beautiful shot. Joe averaging 22.9 Eastern Conference All-Star a year ago. And Bruce Bowen hanging all over him, and Joe still shot that with no rush. And Bruce did not affect his shot at all. Michael Finley missing the three, but Duncan controls. Back up top to Parker, and the Spurs reset. And I'd give up offensive rebounds and give them another chance. Nice toss ahead by A.J. after the steal, and Marvin Williams lands it. Good job by Marvin. Getting this one out, and even on that defensive stance, got his hands on Tony Parker's basketball off the dribble, and he's trying to split the double team. Tim in the bank. Rebound Bowen. Josh Smith couldn't get it. Bowen has his first basket. Somebody has to keep Josh, uh, Bruce Bowen off the glass. Josh Smith trying to get the rebounds. You don't want to see a little guard come in there and grab it when you're working. Uh, Josh Smith has to work with the big man down in his lead. Marvin active early. Took a couple of IVs before the ball game. Food poisoning. And he'll uh, shoot around this morning. But, uh, at least here at the start. Seems to be moving well. Here's Parker rainbowing it up and off. Alberto guides it home. But you see their offense. When they run their offense, a guy always has advantage. Two guys have to come to Tony Parker for his little floater. And he missed it. But that left a rebounding lane for Alberto to get an easy putback. Josh Smith. Bowen feeds Finley, a three-point attempt. That's good. He's been struggling with his shot. He looks pretty good tonight, Michael Finley. Michael came in 37% overall, 29% from behind the arc, but was 7 of 8 against the Rockets in San Antonio's last game last Friday night. Joe fires. 17-10 San Antonio. Beautiful play by Mike Woodson and the Hawks. A little pick to picker got Joe Johnson a nice open jump shot. He just missed it. Pachulia watching Duncan feed Alberto. Beautiful cut underneath. 19 10 San Antonio. Hawks got caught ball watching. When you're looking at the ball, looking at Tim Duncan, lost their man. And Alberto working that baseline, got an easy layup. Nine unanswered by San Antonio as Anthony Johnson buries the jumper. Now one thing for the fans out there watching the Spurs offense, they always have court balance. Never guys crowded up, and everybody's moving and giving a lot of space. Josh Smith with the block. Roberto claiming that should have been goaltending. And Anthony Johnson rebounds. Pachulia spinning, short. Duncan baseballs it ahead to Parker. Tony motors, and Josh Smith blocks it. That will be a goaltend. Mm. But you love that hustle by Josh Smith. Coming back down, blocking that shot. And what that, what that does is it'll have Tony Parker thinking, where is Josh Smith? It won't be just an easy layup. And let's look at this one, Bob. Did he or did he not go to the... Yeah, he went up <laughs> through the net. He got away with one that time. Yes, he did. Anthony Johnson feeds Joe, now to Josh the corner. And a ballet move to go to the hole. Josh Smith with four. Woo the kid is coming along great. Did you see that spin moving in a tight situation? And finish. Greg Popovich will stop the clock with 4.48 remaining in the opening quarter. Josh Smith coming off a career high 38 in Milwaukee with a beauty in Atlanta. Spur is in for their only regular season visit. Will they do it back to back? It's time now for tonight's Heard Around the Cooler brought to you by Gatorade. And Smitty, you list four teams 
that you think are the, at the top of the heap in terms of winning the title this year. And this is different between who had the four best records. I think Phoenix Suns will be up there as far as the best record. But when you talk about the teams that had the best chance to win in San Antonio, I mean, had a chance to win an NBA championship, and yes, we have to say San Antonio. I think they're the leaders. Dallas Mavericks, I think this is their year. If they don't get it this year, I think their psyche and their confidence will be shot. The Boston Celtics, I think they're just going to go on a run. And you never know when it will, it will end. And the Detroit Pistons, they are built to win championship. Phoenix Suns is a team I think is regular season, but they're not built to win it at the end. That's what's heard around the Gatorade Cup. Tim Duncan, defended by Joe Johnson, spins off the pressure, hooks it up and off and draws the foul. Two changes for Atlanta as Al Horford committed that foul is in, along with Josh Childress. Rookie Al Horford off to a great start. Averaging double-figure rebounds at 10.6. Leads all rookies in that department and 12th overall in the NBA in rebound. Now Timmy to the foul line. This has never been a strong suit for Duncan, dating back to his days at Wake Forest. And, you know, when you got a team like the San Antonio Spurs, you have to find one flaw, and that flaw is shooting free throws. I mean, these guys have struggled, struggled down to finish games, uh, making free throws, and that's why they put so much on defense and getting stops. Because at the free throw line, these guys struggle, especially their best players, Tim Duncan and Tony Parker, kind of struggle at the free throw line. They could be better. Uh, Manu does an excellent job of shooting free throws, but Tim and Tony, that's who the ball is in their hands at the end of the game. We'd like them to be able to shoot better free throws. Tim Duncan's seventh point. Matt Bonner has come in for Oberto. 22-14. The Spurs' biggest lead to date has been nine. I guess you can't be perfect, Bob. you got to have something you can't do. Now Horford going against Duncan. Al into the paint. Hooks it out. Down to three on the clock and a travel by Josh Smith. Josh just shuffled his feet, got excited, saw that lane. He was ready to take it right down the middle and make something happen. Here's Finley. Off the mark. Look at Horford run the floor after the rebound. Josh Smith. And draws the contact. <laughs> Matt Bonner tried to put his hand straight up like he didn't do anything, but he got the chest on Josh Smith, and I like Josh didn't settle. Continuing what he did in Milwaukee, driving, and even Bonner, two or three feet off of him, he still drove the basketball. That's recognized that Matt Bonner, another guy slow of feet, can't really stay in front of Josh Smith. Josh is 74% foul shooter to date, averaging 19.4 points, seven rebounds, leads the league in blocks, Fifth and steals. Manu Ginobili handing it over to Parker. Marvin goes out of the game, and we'll see when he's able to come back. Struggling after food poisoning earlier today. Ginobili, beautiful bounce. Up goes Duncan. Count. No, it's going to be an offensive foul. So Tim Duncan watches. His old pal Joey Crawford old pal. make a charging call. It was interesting. I wanted to see the reaction of Tim. He did the smart thing, and it was the correct call by Joey Crawford. Just kind of looked at each other. Maybe let bygones be bygones. You'll recall last year in the playoffs, there's the ejection of Tim Duncan off the bench by Joey Crawford that led to Crawford being disciplined by the NBA. Offensive foul goes against Joe Johnson. So the teams trade turnovers. Now San Antonio with former Hawk Jock Vaughn at the point. Jock Vaughn getting it done. Been in the league a long time. Knows how to run a team. A great point guard. And he, his greatest advantage is he uses his height and speed to his advantage, not a disadvantage. He gets up and pressures the opposing team's point guard. Matt Bonner drilling a three. Spurs by 10. Joe over Ginobili. Is it a repeat, Bob? Yeah, we got to say, hey, Joe Johnson, you got to take over again to get this Hawks team going. We say going. that a lot. A lot. Duncan. 
A.J. doubled, and that drew the traveling violation. And that was a perfect double team by A.J., and that's a, that's a villain. Hey, you don't go double when a guy looking right at you. Wait till you go into his move and his spin. When his back is to you, then you go double. Joe Johnson. Carries it up, gives it to Josh Smith off his hands. Joe with two, one on the shot clock, the three is short. And the shot clock violation awards the ball to San Antonio. Mike Woodson's ball club started hot, but the shots are getting a little tougher to come by as the Spurs get into it defensively. And defensively, they're starting to pick it up. Offensively, they feel like they're still coasting, just running their offense. Tony Parker's not really pushing the pace, but defensively, they're starting to get into their guys, pressure guys, making them turn the basketball over. Mano Ginobili. And a blocking foul on Horford. That's number two on Al. Changes. Marvin Williams back in for the Hawks. And Josh Smith goes out. I think the biggest key for us to watch Bob tonight is when Anthony Johnson finally comes out for a substitution, which Mike Woodson has to give him a little break. Who will run the point guard? position for the Hawks against this pressure and defense by the Spurs and the point guards, Jock Vaughn and Tony Parker. Sheldon Williams in for Atlanta, and Manu Ginobili takes it all the way. Look at Jock Vaughn. What he's doing is trying to wear down Anthony Johnson, and that's a good thing for Tony Parker. If he can wear down Anthony Johnson, then Tony Parker comes back in and goes right at the starting point guards after Jock Vaughn has wore him down with his defensive pressure. Our Dodge drive of the game. Manu Ginobili taking it strong to the bucket. Fond memories of Phillips. We'll refresh your memory what happened last year when Manu was here. Here's Sheldon. AJ for three. Rebound Oberto. Bowen travels. Yep, guys just anxious. You got to plant, get set. It's better to slow down and try to beat the guy with quickness, but it's hard. When you see that opening, you want to get there. The football club doesn't turn it over very often, Steve. That's five first quarter miscues. San Antonio second best in the league in just 13 turnovers a game. Tip to the corner, and Ginobili wins the ball and triggers the San Antonio fast break. Again to the bucket, and again he rolls it in. Just like a torpedo, he's coming right at you. And he takes angles very good, and his change of direction is some similar to Barry Sanders in football. He stops on a dime, and he's just as fast going the opposite direction after he decides to change. In and out for Marvin Williams. Josh Childers the rebound, and Alberto got him across the arm. We talked about last year, Mono Ginobili had 40 points here at Phillips Arena and set a San Antonio franchise record scoring 24 consecutive points over two quarters. And we watched it, Bob. Yes, 40 is a great game, but scoring 24 consecutive baskets for your team, I mean, it was like a one-on-five show, Manu versus the Hawks. And that lifted his lifetime average against the Hawks to 20.5. Gilders with his first point of the proceeding. So Berto with two fouls goes out. And Francisco Ellis Elson comes in. Well, what's amazing about Ginobili, when you look at the minutes he plays, averaging 20.5 against the Hawks only in 26 minutes. And that's been his story this year. His season average right at 20 points a game. His minutes, 28.9. He's the only player in the league at 18 or more points in less than 30 minutes. Manu launching off the mark. Sheldon Williams rebounds. Childress goes cross court to Joe Johnson. <laughs> I know Bonner's like, oh my God, I got Joe Johnson. Down goes Ginobili. Down goes Childress. Jock Vaughn and Elson 
pile on top of him. And it will be a jump at the Atlanta foul line. Yeah, Childress was just in there. Wait a minute. I had the ball, and they're diving on top of me. Why isn't it a foul? Why well, isn't it a foul? You got to scream and yell and kick. Say, hey, what's going on, refs? Draw some attention. We're glad he recovered the basketball, Josh Childress. And this jump ball is, is big, even though Josh is going to win it. But who are you going to tip it to? And Marvin did a good job of shielding off Mono Ginobili. Joe to the hole. Nelson boards. 29-18 San Antonio. Shot clock is off. And that's going to be an offensive foul against San Antonio for an illegal screen. It's going to be on Elson. Yeah, let's look at this play. Yep, gave A.J. a little nudge and a little hip. Correct call. So the Hawks get the last shot. Against Bruce Bowen. Anthony Johnson to Sheldon. Hooks it up and in at the buzzer. Yes. I hope that gives Sheldon a little bit more confidence. Want to see him get going, Bob. Want to see him get into this rhythm, get into this rotation, and make a difference. So the bucket for Sheldon pulls Atlanta within nine. The world champion San Antonio Spurs in Atlanta. And an impressive first quarter. San Antonio leads it 29-20. Atlanta Hawks basketball from Phillips Arena in Atlanta in spectacular high definition. Bob Rathbun, Steve Smith, and James Verrett. Happy to have you with us tonight. The world champs out rebounded Atlanta 16 to four in the first quarter. Outscored the Hawks six to one in second chance points. Joe Johnson being defended by the ultimate defender. Bruce Bowen had but four in that opening quarter. Bruce Bowen, of course, all defensive first team, four consecutive years. He won his matchup with Kobe a few days ago. In fact, he outscored Kobe Bryant in that game. <laughs> he did, and, and you know, he's my guy that I picked as a preseason uh, defensive player of the year. I mean, he's been coming in second two or three years, always on the first team, always guarding the best. I think he deserves to be looked at as maybe winning that award this year. Joe. To Sheldon, Anthony Johnson, and we've got a hand check on Jock Vaughn. I think the job he did on Steve Nash in the playoffs was unreal. I mean, here's a guy who had to guard Steve Nash through picks after picks, and he was just harassing Steve Nash. Marvin with one of the shot clock, and that's a violation. So that's the second shot clock violation. The Hawks have also taken two shots with the clock at two or one. So it just gives you an indication of how stingy that San Antonio defense can be. It is. I mean, when the guys have to recognize, you got to put the ball on the floor, make the pass, and move their bodies with the pass and some dribble penetration for more pass to get these guys moving. If not, they're going to stand there and just pack it in. Manu sizing up Marvin Williams. Nelson loose ball. Three, two on the clock. Bonner has to go with it. Gets it back. And the Spurs will reset. Mm, offensive rebound by Bonner. A guy who shot an off down a shot. you got to box him out. Ginobili fires over Childress and hits. Mm, he had Childress in the blender. Off balance. Mm, sized him up. 31-20 Spurs. Childress. He's strong off the glass. Ginobili again. Good again. That's a three. Mr. Phillips Arena nails another one. You gotta get in him. You gotta put pressure on him. And you gotta make him a driver. And guys gotta help. But once he gets in this type of rhythm, somebody's got to take this situation and say, hey, I got to get a stop. 
Out of bounds to Atlanta and 10 on the shot clock. A brief rest for Josh Smith. Keep in mind, Josh Smith missed the Friday game against Seattle. Missing with that injured left quad and did not look like he was going to play in Milwaukee. Responds with 38 points in 35 minutes. Childress missed the jam, but he was fouled. Good find by A.J. and Josh Childress did the right thing, go up strong. And I think right now the, the Hawks have to get a little bit more life, got to get into this game, and defensively got to show some more energy. I mean, right now is there's no energy on, on a defensive end. Stay tuned after tonight's game for Hawks Live. Join host Jerome Jorinovich and Hall of Famer Dominique Wilkins as they break down tonight's game and fill you in on all the news from around the NBA. Josh Childress. Six the second Mario point of the game. Here's Mario West coming in. This is a key time now for the Hawks. Mario, the rookie out of Georgia Tech, coming in to just give Anthony Johnson some rest here. The Hawks are without their guards tonight. A.C. Law is out. Salim Stoudemire is out. Teron Lou is out. So Mario is going to be called on to play some very important minutes. <laughs> we keep an eye on A.J. The vet went 14 straight minutes, really. I mean, the whole first quarter and the first minute and 54 seconds of the second quarter, that's a lot for the vet. And Ginobili fouled on the drive by Sheldon Williams. Sheldon's first foul. And it will be out of bounds to San Antonio. Byron Scott after the game on November the 9th. Spurs beat New Orleans. He said, they don't take a night off. And I thought for a coach to say that was an ultimate compliment. Mm -hmm. Nelson drills it. 36-22 San Antonio. And this is where it's going to be tough for Josh Childress. He can handle the basketball. When you have a pesty little point guard, he just keeps you off rhythm. Joe Johnson watches Mario West get his miss. Second opportunity for the Hawks. Sheldon goes down hard, but the beneficiary of the whistle. Matt Bonner's second foul. Good job by Josh Childress recognizing the double team and hitting Sheldon, cutting down the lane. Hawks hit the road starting tomorrow night in Miami. Return home to face the Milwaukee Bucks Wednesday, November 28th at 7. For tickets, visit Hawks.com or call 1-800-4-NBA-TIPS. Hawks really struggling at the foul line now. Four of nine. Yes, Sheldon. You got to get somebody with some life. Oh, Mario West can give a spark plug. 36-23. Out of the corner, three for Ginobili. Josh Smith bringing it down for Atlanta. And it's an offensive foul. Josh Smith with his first. Little things, Jock Vaughn gave up his body. Saw the Josh Smith coming. Usually a little guy wants to get out of the way. Stood there and took it. And that's where a player with Josh Smith has to come to a complete jump stop instead of leaving his body, committing himself and making the correct pass or a little jump shot right in the lane over Jock Vaughn. Recognize, hey, Josh not gonna block your, Jock Vaughn's not gonna block your shot if you raise up and shoot a nice little jumper. Tony kicks, Ginobili shoots. Three more for Manu. His second three of the quarter, and 12 points tonight. The Spurs stretch it out to 16. Bowen being dogged by Bruce Bowen, but Elson reached in, and he commits his third foul. Mono Ginobili back in Phillips and firing once again. Obviously in San Antonio to win a championship in 203 was one of the highlights of my career. And um, waited 19 years to get it. 
and that was a, just a great team and coming out watching these guys but my heart lies here in Atlanta where I started it all started at and um, just got to pick up the um, the momentum get some momentum and pick up the intensity to get back in this game what advice can you give a young Hawks team that's really trying to find their way in the NBA well you have to stay confident you can't get too ahead of yourselves and uh, play within the system Mike's put together a pretty good system just play within the system play together um, cut out all the bickering and um, and go out and play ball every night and have confidence and faith in one another and things are happen good for you. All right, thanks a lot. Kevin Willis, a Hawk and Spur. Great. Back to you guys, Bob and Steve. Yes, they were teammates together, Mr. Smith. Me and Kevin Willis, we'll always be linked. You know, Bob, yep. we grew up together, same neighborhood, went to the same high school, went to the same university, Michigan State, got traded for each other from Atlanta to Miami and then won a championship in San Antonio. Now we live here in Atlanta. Matt Bonner. Rebounded by Joe Johnson. Hawks 0 for 4 in the second quarter from the field. Josh Smith leaves that one short. Childress. Hawks have another opportunity as Mario West gives to Josh Smith. And he goes down. A foul coming on Bruce Bowen. They caught Bruce not with his hands, with his feet tripping. During the finals last summer. Had a son born during that mm -hmm. championship run against Cleveland. Tomorrow night we'll be down in Miami on FSN South in HD. 7.30. Tomorrow night the Hawks and the Heat. Miami Ball Clubs has uh, struggled out of the gate, but they've got D. Wade back. D. Wade is coming back, Bob, and he's looking pretty good. We get a chance to see D. Wade up and close. And we'll get a chance to tell the people where he's at. You know, we're the gurus. Under Steve Smith's microscope tomorrow night. Parker going up, fouled by Mario West. And that will send Tony to the line. Parker had a relatively quiet offseason. <laughs> I would say so. Marin Eva in Paris. Did you see the spread, the wedding? I noticed that uh, you were not on the invitee list. Not at all. Had to go do my basketball camp. My basketball but you would have been there. I would have been there. A little bit too far, but... You know, unbelievable. It was good a chance to see Tony Parker. I saw him grow from being a kid, coming over to my house in San Antonio, watching my kids, to now winning championships, getting married, playing extremely well. The young fellas all grown up. Joe into the alley. Anthony Johnson back in. Josh Smith goes up short. Rebound Bonner. Josh is now two for six. Tony Parker up and in. Eight points for Tony, 43-25, Spurs by 18. And Mike Woodson's going to stop the clock with 7.05 to go in the second quarter. Everything going San Antonio's way. Parker and Duncan talk it over as Tony is able to get that one past the outstretched fingertips of Josh Childress. By the Georgia Lottery, by Aaron's, by UPS, and by Delta. Welcome back to Atlanta Hawks basketball. 7.05 to go in the first half, and the Hawks have a long way to go to get back in this game. Coming up at the Georgia Lottery at the half, Dominique Wilkins will tell us what Atlanta has to do to get back in this because the Spurs are looking like defending champs tonight. He will also tell us how to slow down Shaquille O'Neal tomorrow night. That and more on the Georgia Lottery at the half. Now back over to Bob and Steve. Thank you very much, Jerome. Yes, it has been a clinic here by the Spurs in the first half. So far for the Spurs, they're just going about their business. I think the Hawks have to do something to stop this train because it's getting a chance to rev up and it's getting going. I think right now the Hawks have to show some enthusiasm, some discipline. Of everybody taking good shots and playing hard now. And Children did a good job. Those little scrappy offensive rebounds, they're going to have to start doing. That's the first field goal for the Hawks here in the second quarter. 43-27. Tony Parker against the rookie Al Horford. 
The reversal, oh, and a beauty. Wow. Did you see that? Ooh. I didn't think he had enough left. Josh Smith powers it up and off. Missed the tip. Rebound, Children. Scraps again for a yes. follow. Somebody has to do what Children is doing. The little things. 45-29, San Antonio. This high archer does not drop, but Bonner fights for the rebound. Got to get some stops. Good job, AJ. Archer spins. There's Bowen in the corner. Bruce will take it up. And Josh definitely changed that shot. Here's Joe looking for an opening. He'll drive it to score. Did a good job of freezing Tim Duncan. Showing shot at that line, made Tim step up a little bit, went around him, and when he saw Tony Parker, you know he had a chance to get a, a pretty good layup over the smaller defender. 45-31. Bonner off the pick and roll, in and out. Horford boards, gives to AJ. Hawks trying to put a little run together here. It's 62 currently. Anthony Johnson. And we've got Josh Smith nailing Cruz going for an offensive foul. And Bruce sold that offensive foul with a little bit of flop. Yes, he got hit, but he went down hard to put the onuses on the referee to try to make a call, and they did. So Josh will come out of the game in favor of Marvin Williams. Josh, 15 minutes, 7 points, 2 rebounds, and 2 of 8 shooting. Well, Bob, when you look at this lineup, the Spurs have went small, and I think they're dangerous. When they have a lead like this, and they just start going to Tim Duncan, and now you're going to have a lot of room for them to make cuts, even though that was a turnover. Where do you double from with all these smalls? Al Horford. This is the one thing about Al that's been so impressive the first few weeks of the season, his ability to run the floor. And run the court well and finish. And I like the little excitement he has, and you see Coach Popovich understanding momentum. Let's get a timeout because the crowd is getting into it, and that's what the Hawks have to do. But Al, like you said, runs the court extremely well for a big. 45-33. The Spurs lead has been sliced to 12. At 45-33. The entire ball club was together yesterday at Hudson's Grill in Brookhaven Station here in Atlanta, partnering with the Children's Restoration Network to tip off the holiday season. Approximately 75 boys from two area group homes, Turning Point and Potter's House for Children, were the beneficiaries of the great Thanksgiving dinner, and there are the food servers and the beverage men. <laughs> That's all what the it's players all about. and coaches were out yesterday. Great host in Hudson Grill. Mm -hmm. That's Tony, what it's about, though. Tony Shaw, the general manager, put on uh, quite the affair, and uh, we were happy to be a part of that yesterday. Helping others. That's what we all have to do. And a great time of year, Smitty. The holidays kicking in this week. Thanksgiving on Thursday, and a chance for all of us to count our many blessings. You're right. And I have a house full, Bob. I'm have to come stay with you. <laughs> Here's Duncan turning and hitting. The big fundamental has nine. Spurs go back up 14. One of the most unselfish superstars I've ever been around. Got a chance to play with him for two years. Doesn't really care about stats. Just wants to win. Always about helping his teammates. Blocked by Finley. Marvin Williams again. And fouled this time. Michael Finley's first. Here is tonight's AT&T trivia question. We know Tony Parker was the finals MVP last year, and Dirk was the seasonal MVP. So who is the last player to be named regular season and finals MVP in the same season? Hmm. I wonder who <laughs> that guy is. Here is Marvin rolling in the free throw. Marvin now with six. 47-35. 
And this is that small lineup. Look at the spacing that the Spurs have. And look how they rotate the basketball. Tony Parker has 13. And you made that point earlier, Steve. Floor balance for San Antonio. Uh, floor balance, floor spacing. <laughs> and everybody can shoot the three. Hard to guard them. Eight points for Marvin. 50-37 Spurs. Tony Parker. Dumping it into Duncan. The offense going through the big man, and Parker gets the lay-in. And how do you stop that? Because of the cut, Marvin tried to help, but he had to come from the opposite three-point line to try to get that, you know, any kind of rhythm, defensive intensity against Tony Parker, but he just had to come from too far of a range to get any chance to get it blocked. It is with surgical precision that the Spurs run their offense. Parker just explodes to the hole. Tony with 17 in the first half. And you said, hey, Tony was a little quiet in that first quarter. You woke him up, Bob. He's up now. He's got 13 this period. <laughs> Horford. And Duncan with the foul. And a look of disbelief. Let's look at this play first when we talk about ball movement. Look what all the guys are spaced around that three-point line and gives that guy the big fundamental, a lot of room. And then when you side the double, look at their ball movement with the pass, not the dribble. And an easy look for Tony Parker out of the corner. Horford to the line. And he misses the first of two. Our AT&T trivia question once again. Last player to be named the regular season. And finals MVP in the same season, none other than Mr. Tim Duncan in the 2003 championship season. Boy, was that a special year, Bob. I got a chance to watch him just go off in the regular season and then just destroy the Nets in the championship. And like most teams, most great teams, the planning and preparation that goes into this type of a performance, it ends up looking very easy, you know, very methodical, nothing flashy. Nothing flashy. Joe, out to Anthony Johnson, now Marvin Williams, 4-2. Marvin hitting double figures, Spurs by 16. Beautiful. Offensive possession by the Hawks. The ball moved, spacing, and everybody touched it. Parker again, good again. His ability to drive the basketball is just amazing. I mean, he can get to that basket, and for a while, a couple years ago, he was leading all players in points in the paint from a point guard position. Duncan's third foul. Tony has scored San Antonio's last 11. And look, you know, and Tony Parker, his jump shot is getting better and better. Really didn't have a jump shot when he first came into this league, but he's working on it. And if he can keep doing this, pull up and pop, and then shoot the three with his ability to get to the basket, and with all these great players with the space in it, how can you guard him? Early in his career, Smitty, teams would go under on the pick and rolls and let Parker shoot. Not anymore. And you're right, Bob. And I played with him that rookie year. And what team, like you said, will go under and he will keep going at him and still try to attack him. And now teams got to go over the pick and roll. And what do you do if he's knocking down that shot and getting to the basket? Uh, you just need team defense to stop guys like that. Two free throws for Joe. He's got eight. Mr. Parker has 21 in the first half. In the finals last year against Cleveland, 24 and a half points on 56% shooting. Marvin Williams, the foul. Manu Ginobili with 12 points here in this first half. And is it a luxury? Now Tim Duncan, your anchor, really is just resting. You don't need him to score. You don't really need him to play now. 
Now you get other guys, a lot of playing time. Marvin Williams yes. up to reject Alberto. You like that by Marvin. Go get it. Joe. He's struggling with his shot. Three for 11 in this first half. Parker. A little off balance, but there's Genova. <laughs> Flip it back up. He tried to quick it. Joe can't shake. Tony now drives it. Jumps it down to Pachulia. And he'll shoot two. Finley the foul. Nice play by Joe Johnson. Tony Parker anticipated him going around his back, but he still was strong enough to get the basketball and make a play for somebody else. Zaza to the line. Here at tonight's Home Depot points in the paint. Spurs plus 14 in that category. 18.8 left, and Petulia has his third point of the night. Mario West in for Joe Johnson. Emeo Doka's in for San Antonio. And about when you look at the Spurs and they pick up guys in offseason, doesn't this guy he may just fit their mold? Mm -hmm. The way he played in Portland, and I knew the young kid when he's at Portland State. Uh, I got a chance to see him develop, develop. And I'm happy for him to get a chance to play in this league. And now he's with the Spurs. I told him. Hey, you got a chance to get your <laughs> ring. He hit the jackpot. Yes, he did. And nails a three right on cue. 61 points in the first half for San Antonio. Two seconds. Josh lets it fly, and that's the first half here at Phillips Arena. The world champion Spurs at their best, offensively and defensively. A special performance as they have built a big halftime advantage. At the break in Atlanta, it's San Antonio 61 and the Hawks 44.